Thanks for spending a few minutes with me in your precious time. I'm James Smith, the General Manager of i4 Advantage. What we're going to go over today is a universal leadership framework for action planning. Hey, have you ever watched uh, somebody put together a jigsaw puzzle? Those who love to do it and do it often, do it quickly as well, like to put the frame around it first and then build the picture. Executive education, executive process is very much like that. There's a vision that, and a picture of the job that wants to be done, results that want to be had, and a frame is put around it. And it's consistent across industry, it's consistent for individuals, it's consistent generally around the world. These actions take place one after another and they're covered by so many different speakers and psychologists and writers that it can get uh, so that we see so many threads but we really don't have them all put together in a beautiful framework with a lovely picture and that's what I want to do for you today uh, to go beyond all of these theories and put them all together to show you how they fit what we've been doing where we're going and simplify the matter for you uh, so that everything that you do can flow very well. So the uh, universal action framework uh, starts with a frame on top, which is our direction. It's our goals. When you think about goals, you might think about uh, people like Ed Locke, who wrote, who wrote the uh, goal study. You might think about Jack Canfield, Steven Pinker, Matt Maslow's hierarchy of needs. You, Young, Freud, Lewin, um, many, many people have spoken, written on goals. So they come to mind and your business is essentially to have a deep purpose, to have a goal that you're going toward and a direction. As you move in your direction, you have to move. So once you've got the direction, you need to put your feet to the ground and start to move, move your body, do physical things write letters and everything else that needs to be done, send emails, make phone calls, shake hands, talk with people, and work on your own uh, time as well. So this is a time management, movement management, because time is the measurement of movement. A lot of people take uh, that area and write about it. Everybody from Einstein and Newton to Cheek Sent Me High and Flow Psychology uh, there's martial arts instructors and dance instructors and outdoor things, uh, events that help us to move in ways that help us realize that we are going in a direction and that physical movement is absolutely important. So your business, your life, your relationships, they've got to be moving in a powerful flow or they'll lose something, especially if it's in an environment where there's others that are moving in a powerful flow. And talk about others. You want to have others moving with you. So we know where we're going. We go there, but we don't go alone. We go with others who are our supporters. There are clients, there are friends, there are, give financial support, emotional support, physical support, and creative support, and just a, uh, the kind of value support that we need, whether they're customers, suppliers, or people who in, enjoy and, and support what we do on various levels. Um, there's just tons of people who talk about this culture, the community culture, the stakeholder culture, the business culture, and from Mackey and the UN, Clinton, uh, Seidman, Yuri and Fisher, Peter Drucker, Napoleon Hill, all a lot about the, these kind of uh, cultures, Barrett and Wilson and uh, Ken Blanchard, these are where those names especially come in. Most write about a number of these things, but few write about all of them, and yet they're all important. The, your culture really is key to giving you the energy and the support that you need for your business and everything else to go on. Um, and then the next piece is the challengers. There's going to be people who challenge us. Maybe they put a little pressure on. Maybe they can do it better and they call us to a higher level. Uh, so these challenges and conflicts need to be addressed as well and I have a universal leadership framework for conflict because it's so unique and special and such a tremendous value to understand in this similar type of a framework methodology. So in the conflict area we've again got Fisher and Urey, we've got the Clinton Global Initiative, Werner Erhard, 
Peter Senge and many, many others that talk about conflict and how to handle it. So um, I've done a lot of conflict work and I'll tell you about that in the, in the conflict framework uh, when we get to that in the next video. But this is critical to know how to handle conflict because that's part of it too. And so this is all around what your vision is as you do it. Uh, you have to deal with the inner and the outer conflict or it's going to be distracting. Once the frame is complete, it's time to do the picture. And the picture is our strategic plan. It is really our vision. It's the DNA of what we're doing. It's the vision of it and then how we take that vision and we act upon it and how we measure the outcomes. So this is the definition of integrity, intent or vision, action, aligned or planned, the thought will work, and then the outcome. So if we get, if we know what we came to do, and we do something, and we know what we did, and we get what we came to, what we get what we wanted, then we've got alignment, we've got integrity. If we don't get what we wanted, then we change what we did, or we change our vision, and we start again, and we make it better. And so this goes over and over but as we're going over and over here we're still going around we're still checking our goals we're still seeing if we're moving correctly we're still checking who's moving with us we're still dealing with conflict and then we go through our DNA to see hey how is this plan working so you've got you know Welch Jack Welch is the big you know, strategist of a, a decade ago and you got Gary Hamill um, Bill Gates Steve Jobs these are all you know, great strategists and CEOs. Uh, we got Tyndall and Mackey and uh, the Tadas and uh, great economists. These are all people who are who know about strategic plans. They come to mind. So those are, are critical. But if you don't have a great strategic plan, you're headed for a breakdown. So really, this is the framework. Anybody can do it, from people uh, taking care of children to people teaching in schools, to people running uh, global institutions, to business people, to those conducting orchestras or doing small businesses, everybody. Children growing up, same thing. It'll never change from birth to death. Um, so this plan is a universal action planning, universal leadership framework, self-leadership and leadership of others. Here's how it fits together in the five steps. We've got our movement, our strong yes, which is a deep motivation. We get started, we uh, synchronize, we, we get started, we uh, sequence or prioritize, we uh, synchronize, work with others. We get in synergy where we go really beyond time. We go toward our goals. And the, if you look at Maslow's hierarchy of needs, and there's lots of others, right at the top, the most developed goal. So we go up. And we get toward the goal. We go with people who we ex accept into our circle, who really have the kind of emotional strength that helps our business, that we like to be around, good energy, and they have the values to commit to that superordinate goal of whatever the purpose is that we're together for. It can be many purposes, but at least uh, the main purpose. Um, in conflict, we want to move from any kind of coercion or game playing up to a level of deep collaboration and then integrate through that strategic plan like just take it all through and we go over and over and over this is the universal leadership framework for action planning so it's got some real advantages it's got some advantages it shows you the executive process and identifies the critical areas and it shows the systematic interplay so that you can get some control over the situation and we're going to, you need all four frameworks, time management, goal setting, uh, conflict management, uh, relationship management, strategy is fine, but you need more. You really need to see the depth. That's what the other three are going to do for you. And so I hope you put all these frameworks together so that you can see the whole picture. I don't want to be with you like the gentleman uh, in the parks that puts the peas under the shells and starts moving around, tries to say, where are we now? Where are we now? Where's that pea? I want you to see the whole thing and know where you are and know where the where your goal is and know what's going on so that you can have power and control and I think that's the best place that leaders need to take their people thank you very much Jim Smith 
um, general manager, I have four advantage. Give me a call. I'd like to talk.